Guys, let's go ahead and see what this video takes us. The title is interesting, but I do see like on my my Facebook page at least. Uh, uh, yeah, there's an issue because I mean, there are a lot of women specifically who are saying I'm with her, right? And then the male response, specifically the black male response, is I'm not with her. Like there are literally guys, there are literally memes of, of the same thing that that black women are putting up, saying I'm with her. They're crossing out. The, they're crossing it out and saying, "I'm not with her." Okay, the men are for some reason, guys. Right? It's interesting how this divide is actually happening. Which I knew exactly uh, this would happen once uh, she was brought up into play here, guys. Right? Uh, the black women obviously they see her. And they're like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for her because she's a black woman, literally, exclusively that, uh, without actually knowing any anything about her, bro. Right? Which is interesting. Like, go, go back to some of her cases, guys. Go have fun on that. Right. As soon as you start digging into that, you're going to be like, oh, she, she, wait, my kid, you wait, hold on. So you're telling me that if my kid is late consistently or occasionally, not consistently. So if my kid is late to school uh, way too many times uh, for some reason, first of all, your kid should be late. But if your kid is late for school, I'm going to go to jail. That's wild. <laughs> that's crazy, right? And then that's kind of a, a, an interesting thing. That's not one of the biggest ones, but just go ahead and check out some of the, check her record, guys. It's interesting. Uh, and then black men, I don't know. I, again, many black men on my on my uh, my Facebook page, at least, um, all I see is they're not interested in the Democrat Party. Uh, like, at all. Like, at, they're not interested at all. Um, black women, specifically, they're still kind of, you know, large scale at least um attached to the democrat party but black men specifically i don't see it on my my, my facebook or my social media at all i think they've gone the the democrat party has lost um a lot of black men okay um over these last couple of years a lot of it is what they're pushing it has nothing it doesn't really benefit um uh, black men like that, I'm guessing. So they're just like, you know what? Yeah, we're done. Uh, but either way, listen, the name of the video is uh, Black America is not supporting Kamala Harris. All right, let's go and jump into this immediately. Let's see where this takes us, guys. Who, within the last few years, have left their old party and are now voting for Trump. Latina Brown and Madeline Brame. Madeline, um, good to see you. We'll start with you. You know, she's been vice president for almost four years. Yeah. Obama was president for eight years. As a, as a black man. Uh, so is playing the race card here really a smart strategy? You know, uh, thank you so much, Laura, for having me once again on your show. Mm. Um, it is... Wait, wait, is this the uh, the shut up and dribble woman, bro? Is that what that is? I don't know. Let's go. Absolutely the most silliest thing that they could possibly do. Because uh, most... African Americans know that the legal's benefit card is worth more than our worthless black card. So why would we care okay. about who Kamala Harris is, about her race or her gender? We care about the policies that she has pushed with Joe Biden for the past three and a half years. We are struggling. We can't even make ends meet. Oh, you you talked about retirement oh, oh. earlier. I have to work till I'm 70 years old in order to get my full retirement. So, you know, um, no, black America is not supporting Kamala Harris. She's wrong. I'm sorry. I have no idea who she is, but she's wrong. Um, maybe um, here's the thing. Like with people that are her age, male and female, black Black males and females are absolutely going to support Democrat Party no matter what. They're going to, 100%. I hear you. Well, not, maybe not 100%. I'm going to give it a solid 85 to 90%. That's just the reality of things here. Um, I think you're just saying this because you're the people that are surrounding you. Um, but either way, uh, but the younger ones, guys, that's where, th that's where things are starting to kind of split, right? Um, but her generation... They're definitely voting Democrat. They, and they don't. They also don't care about the migrants. Not like that, at least, right? Um, now, the migrant crisis is absolutely, in fact, an issue. Okay, um, but the overwhelming majority. Uh, I, I can call like ten people, and trust me, uh, the responses are going to be like, "What's going on in New York?" They don't care. It doesn't affect them, right? Um, unless they're in New York, 
But either way, let's continue. So, you know, um, no, black America is not supporting Kamala Harris, all right? Um, her color has nothing to do with the failed policies that she has um, championed and stood on for three and a half years. Now, people have called Kamala the DEI candidate, um, but Democrats, they don't like that. Whenever you hear DEI, I want you to think about the N-word. I want you to think about racial slurs. That's what they actually mean. Latina. Okay. Well, <laughs> when you, think, when you hear DEI, think of the N-word? That's where they are? That's it? Well, you know, Laura, thank you for having me on. Um, I just want to say this. The Democrats are full of crap. And I think that they know that the American people can see through the crap that they're pushing and circulating out there to the black community. If anything, the Democrats, they're the ones who are sowing division in the community, in this country. They're not about uniting everyone together. Together, They're about themselves. They're about power. They're about division. They have their own agenda in place. And this thing has been in the works for years it's just that now it's coming to mm. light and people are starting to wake up they're opening up their eyes and, and i'm gonna tell you something the black community we will not support her nope. you know they can try to race bait us nope. they can try to push the gender here's the thing these two individuals are absolutely exceptions to that rule right um i'm telling you it's not what you think it is, what they're saying. It's not what it is. Uh, they're, they're just talking about the people that they're surrounded by. Um, <laughs> yeah, just look online. They don't care. Uh, a lot of what you're saying here is not the thing, because unfortunately, many people just don't are not really that into politics. They don't really care about what's actually happening around them like that unless it's affecting them. And the reality is, is that um, there's going to have to be more, right? Um, her Kamala Harris being part, part black, right, um, is going to be very heavy. It's gonna, it's gonna weigh a lot, right. And and, and I hear what you're saying, uh, Latina Brown, right. I hear, I hear you, right. But that's gonna be very heavy. Okay, the same. Think about Obama 2.0, right. Um, every single person is gonna go out, specifically women. Uh, black American women are gonna flock to her. They are, right? And they're the ones who vote the most, right? In terms of um, uh, black Americans, right? They're the ones who vote the most. Uh, I hear what you're saying, right? It would be great if you if people could actually see the, kind of the forest through the trees here, right? But they don't. The, the majority won't, right? At all. It sounds like you're just saying what you know you want, what she wants to hear, right? And it's weird. But either way, let's continue. We will not support her. Nope. You know, they can try to race bait us. Nope. They can try to push the gender it's gonna uh, work. agenda yeah. in our community. And speaking of that, Latina, mm -hmm. speaking of that, I got a place because they're <laughs> starting this pressure campaign <laughs> for any black person or minority who is not considering voting for Kamala. <laughs> well, You're going to look real crazy being on the other side of that line. Notice it's a woman, guys. Well, You're gonna look real crazy. I'm telling you to. I'm being telling you on the other side of that line, particularly as a person of color, but really as anyone who claims to have any connection to the culture, you're gonna look real weird and real lonely on that side. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's a, <laughs> that sounds crazy. Vote for her because she's part black. Okay. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. All right. It's going to work. Keep that in mind. What she's saying is going to work. It's going to work. Right. At least specifically with black Americans. Right. It's going to work. But, bro, <laughs> uh, that's crazy for her to say, it, you know, but either way. All right. One line from each of you. Madeline, you're going to look really weird. Mm hmm. Madeline, well, if you don't you, support you, her. You know, I'm, I'm not paying her no mind. You know, I'm not supporting Kamala Harris because I don't believe in the continued genocide of black babies in the womb through abortion, where she's pushing tooth and nail, even to the third trimester. You know, I don't believe in... Do, wait, did you say third trimester? No. Wait. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. That, that, has to be, that has to be like nonsense, but it cannot be real. That cannot be real. 
They spell this woman's name? That cannot be real, bro. Uh, third, you said third trimester? Uh, let's, let's, uh, and that and I don't I don't support that and I don't believe that most of the especially black women in in the black community um, support that Latina you're weird if you don't support Kamala Harris you're well, weird you, well you know I think um, you know that's a weird statement coming from um, you know uh, Miss Reed I don't it's weird but it's expected I think she's all there mentally God help us <laughs> no. all uh, no, let's 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 be nice. No, this she's very nice. Uh, she's very nice to me in the elevator. We sometimes ride the elevator together, and I, she's actually a very. I we. Uh, I said we should do something for charity, like go on the road and do some show for charity. And she said she, she's not going to work with you. She would. So, I mean, I'll, I'm going to hold that to her, hold her. You can hold it. Don't hold your breath though, because again, you you're the shut up and dribble lady. To that, but uh, I don't know. It just seems like a weak argument. I mean, if, she, if if Kamala Harris is a smart woman who has a record to run on, then run on the record. Yes, just yes. run on it. I agree. To me, but what right, record does she have? Well, that's a good point, <laughs> Latina Madeline. Great to see both of you. Thanks so much. Hey, Sean Hannity. All right, guys. Whoa, that's an interesting one. Um, Joy Reid. I absolutely expect that to keep happening throughout all of this this is going to keep happening right um yeah purely black people will look weird if they don't support cobalt <laughs> that's crazy but it's going to work and and that's the part that's crazy about it right um listen the democrat party is absolute yeah yeah guys all right um but this party is not too far off right they're, they're the same let's look at it it's like guys but hmm, it, with specifically black americans it's gonna work it's it's just going to right um a part black woman as president oh they're, they're gonna that's gonna be eaten up bro it's a reality because I mean, they again. These two here are, are purely exceptions to to what we all kind of all know is going to happen. Specifically, um, you'll see. Like, listen, mark my words. If she becomes a candidate, right, and she runs against uh, the Republican candidate, remember this video when I say that. Okay, they're talking, they're talking, right? Uh, but it's not going to matter. Look at the demographics of the people who are going to vote. Almost, almost a hundred percent. It's going to be black American women for Kamala Harris. 100%. I'm telling you. We, 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 I don't want to say 100% because you guys are going to call me on it. I'm going to go ahead and say 97%. <laughs> okay. Because again, the exceptions are absolutely smaller than I think she thinks that they actually are in black American women. All right. The exception is, is bro, there are probably 10 to 15,000 out of all the black American women in America. There are probably ten to fifteen thousand uh, that are like these individuals here. That's it. But either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I expect this type of comment to happen all the time. Like, if you don't support her, you are less. You're you're not who we think you are, bro. That's not going to work. Listen, if you think that I'm going to sit here and vote for some random Democrat uh, because she's part black, you 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 are crazy. Okay, you are absolutely insane. All right. But that's the, you know, listen, I try to be as real with you guys as humanly possible, and that's just the reality, right? This, this, that's the reality. I see more black men in America being like, nah, I'm not with her, basically. I try to show you guys a, a random screenshot, but, like, I can't, it, my screen is too, like, dark or bright or something, guys. Um, but the reality is I can literally just keep scrolling, and it seems like every single black male that I've encountered on my Facebook specifically that's not going to work. Whatever this is, it's not working. It's specifically targeting black American women. But anyway, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.